So, um, what was I going to say? I have to get my thoughts together. Today is Tuesday. And I have a doctor's appointment at 2.30. And today is a big doctor's appointment because they will be checking to see if I've started to dilate and all that good stuff, which I don't really think that I have. But nonetheless, I needed some child care today. Um, so my sister-in-law is going to watch Maddie and Mason while I go to the doctor. And so we're like way, way, way behind schedule today. And let me tell you why. <laughs> Because I was up all night with heartburn and insomnia and just restlessness and, you know, all the fun stuff that comes along with the end of pregnancy. And so I had a really hard time getting out of bed this morning because I think I saw 3 o'clock last night and I was just sitting around just doing nothing trying to finally get some sleep and that made my morning pretty tough. So... I've had a slow, a slow start to my day today, and um, the goal was to get up and really get on things early today because I'm going to have to leave soon and head out to my sister-in-law's house, but because of my insomnia issues last night, that kind of didn't happen, etc., etc. <laughs> so, um, anyway, that's what's going on. And I am debating whether or not we will just do the bare minimum with Mason today or just skip today and pick up um, maybe tomorrow. Because as long as we get four days in, I'm okay with that, with a four-day schedule. So I'm trying to give myself some grace as far as that's concerned. And not really... Panic over it. Jacob. <laughs> Jacob has his work to do. He's you don't have that luxury, bud. You've got to stick to your schedule. He has a very strict schedule with challenge one, and he has to get all of his work done. And um, so, but he actually does have it pretty easy right now because he's not doing Latin, and I haven't picked up his Spanish curriculum yet. So he has. He's down one subject, and what's the other? Isn't there another subject? That's it, right? Is that it? Yeah, he's down one subject. So, um, but when we start Spanish, you know, that'll that'll make up for it. But hopefully, that'll be soon. And um, but compared to his classmates, he is a little bit on the fortunate side. <laughs> So, it's 11 o'clock right now. My appointment's at 2.30. It's just going to take me about four, at least 40 minutes to get there for my sister-in-law's, probably, with traffic and everything. You never know with downtown Charlotte how it's going to be. So, I'm trying to think. I'll probably have to leave pretty soon. 12.30... Maybe around 12.30. Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But um, anyway, we don't have that much time before I have to leave. So I'll probably just ditch most of the homeschooling for the little kids today. And we'll just pick up tomorrow. And I'm just going to give myself that kind of grace today. Um, because I'm going to have to learn. Do you hear how out of breath I am? I'm going to have to learn... Um, just to go a little bit easier on myself with these last few weeks. Oh my gosh. I can't believe baby's on his way, you guys. 36 weeks and one day today. And that just seems unreal because um, it's just, this pregnancy has just flown by. It's been definitely the fastest pregnancy I've ever had. I think because we've had so much going on. It just feels like yesterday that I found out I was pregnant. So it feels really, really weird to say that I am right at full term. And baby could come now and be most likely be okay. So uh, I still have to wash up. Um, my friend that moved to Florida had given me an infant car seat. And so I'm going to wash that up and get that installed. Um, 
my husband really wanted to buy a new one but that one will do for now until we do i just want to be prepared because that's the kind of person that i am i don't want to be caught unprepared so i'm going to wash that car seat up and get it installed probably pretty soon and um or maybe not installed i don't know how we're going to work it out with all the kids but um at least it'll be ready to be installed and then um i still need to get like a bassinet of some sort for baby to sleep in and then pretty much I feel like that's basically all the necessities that we need we could get a bassinet or like a rock and play or something like that but apart from those two things um, I feel pretty prepared I'm getting there I've made a lot of progress in the last couple of weeks so today I'd like to show you guys what all I have for baby I hope I get to that point maybe I will before I leave and kind of show you the organization that I have set up for him in my bedroom and um, kind of where I'm at in the preparation process. All right, so we are on our way to Aunt Dusty's house. She is gonna watch the kids while I go to my doctor's appointment Ooh. today. And um, I'm gonna run by the post office and probably go get a little bit of coffee before I go because I'm telling you, I have that, oops. I have that feeling that I that I get when I'm really super tired so I'm gonna go caffeine it up real quick so tonight's dinner is courtesy of Dairy Queen I love Dairy Queen now we're inside <laughs> we're gonna do games is that your favorite yeah we're gonna do games too <laughs> yeah. you are <laughs> did you bring your money yeah I can <laughs> no, he got, he got He's got it. I'll let him handle it. Is he gonna handle it? <laughs> Look. <laughs> so it is now dinner time, and I didn't vlog after my doctor's appointment because I was at the doctor for like three and a half hours, and then I went straight to my sister-in-law's and picked the kids up. So after we eat here, I will update you guys on what the doctor said and how that appointment went. But first, I'm gonna eat some dinner. At Dairy Queen. At Dairy Queen. You are gonna eat a corn dog, right? Right after that ice cream? Uh, I'll take it home. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> don't eat it. Listen, it's, it's gonna leak. Drip, whatever. <laughs> it leaked from the bottom up. Is that good? Part of getting ready for bed. Mm. Come on, let's go. Hi hey guys. Today we're going to show. I'm just going to vlog for um this to uh because it's midnight. Cause it's already midnight and For now, I'm watching the movie. We watch movies at night when it's midnight. May I want to show the chessboard? Huh? Show the chessboard. What chessboard? It's Maddie Cam and Mason Cam. Mm, it's Maddie Cam and Mason Camp. Show the chessboard. Okay, I'll show you the chessboard. Which which kind of chessboard? Come on. Here it is. So it looks like Jake's. So here's the white and black and all these things. Say good morning. Good morning, my love. So it is Wednesday. Maddie's just waking up. I've been up for a long time. Jacob's gone to school. One of our friends took him to school today and she's going to bring him home. Praise the Lord. And I am finishing up editing a little bit and then we are going to get our chores done and get ready for the day and do our homeschooling, right? Yeah, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Good morning, Belle. Go out. Come on. Stretch it out. Oh. 
You ready to go out? Hmm? Are you? Yeah, from outside. Yeah, we took her color out because she eats. I think we need to. Take her to the um, dog. No, I think she needs to learn how to. Maybe how to do puppy pads or something because she just can't get it no matter what. Um, what's puppy pads? Where they go pee pee on little. Well, we just had lunch. We made some grilled cheese sandwiches and chips, and this is what happens to me basically every day. <clears throat> I feel really good in the mornings. I get a lot done. I'm like halfway in the middle of cleaning out my um, makeup bag because I was really motivated to get to that today. I got, excuse me, lots of laundry done, and now I'm completely beat. Grabbing my pillow, going downstairs to hang out with the kids on the couch <laughs> and see if I can take a nap <laughs> because I just don't think I can make it through the rest of the day. So I'm going to try to lay down for an hour or so and see if that helps out. Get a little bit of rest and we'll do afternoon um, homeschooling today. Hi guys, good morning. So the kids are being lazy behind me on the bed. Can you see them? There they are. They're watching beach and mountain vlogs. <laughs> we haven't started school yet. And it's getting close to noon. I had to have a shower this morning to try and feel alive a little bit because I did take a shower yesterday, but I, didn't, I did not like fix my hair or anything and it looked so crazy. So I had to completely redo my hair today so anyway I guess it's somewhat presentable at this point yeah, I don't know I don't know we'll see um but anyway um we are going to attempt to do some homeschooling today yesterday I did not do almost well, we got half of Mason's homeschooling done yesterday and I basically gave up because I got really tired and did no housework and did no, like, look, no dishes. There's like, I don't even know what's going on here. But there's definitely a lot of catching up to do because when I take a day off, things kind of go downhill despite our best efforts. <laughs> I do have the kids do chores, but, you know, things just don't get done when mama's down. Um, so anyway, today I hope to get a few videos. Actually, I think that I'm going to prioritize getting a few sit-down videos done today because that really needs to happen. And I, if I put it off till the end of the day, then it just doesn't get done. So I'm going to try to make that a priority today. Um, I have some work to do for my husband today as well as getting dinner on the table. Yesterday I wanted to make a homemade chicken noodle soup. It was super rainy and cloudy and just like a really drab dreary day yesterday. And, um, and of course I spent most of it on the couch. I feel like my fatigue has really come back with a vengeance. And... Um, I have my thyroid levels drawn at my last doctor's appointment and I called yesterday and they were like, no, they're perfectly fine on this new dose. So the doctor's like, um, I think you're just um, 37 weeks, you know, right at 37 weeks pregnant and that's just what's to be expected at this point. So yeah, that's basically um, a lot of encouragement, right? <laughs> So my battle right now is trying to figure out when to stop and just um, kind of go on a, a little bit of a maternity leave. So especially with the homeschooling because sometimes it feels overwhelming when I don't have the energy. Um, so I had originally planned to homeschool all the way up to 40 weeks and then take like a full solid month off after the baby. But... Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to feel better, I hope, <laughs> after the baby's born than I do right now. So, let me set you guys up here. So, this morning, as I was getting ready, I was thinking to myself, you know, 
I need to be kind to myself and maybe um, realize that I need these last couple of weeks. So I think I'm going to probably give myself another week of like doing what I, maybe another week of doing what I feel like needs to be done with them and trying to stick to schedule and everything and then go ahead and just like stop and take a break and then maybe the um, two weeks, two to three weeks after the baby's born and then get kind of back on schedule that way. Um, because I think the third trimester, like toward the very, very end, is sometimes harder than, you know, like having a three-week-old. Do you know what I mean? And then try, getting back into schedule that at that point. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do a pregnancy update, I think. And he's not been very active this morning, which is kind of strange. Um, I feel him moving, but he's... He's definitely slowed down today, which is, like I said, kind of strange. So, I have the Doppler when I listen for his heartbeat. I'll push on him, though, and he'll, like, he'll move. So, I know that he's, he's in there and he's okay, but he's just not very active compared to what he was. And I know that's normal toward the last few weeks because they're just big and they're getting ready to come out and all that fun stuff. But um, it does seem like he's kind of slowed down a, a good bit. So hopefully that's a good sign. Um, let's see what else can I update you guys on. I haven't been vlogging a lot. Like I said, I've just been um, kind of going through the motions of the day. Just making it through the day. And it's weird because at night I'm like, another day, <laughs> you know? Like... I don't know because I'm just used to being like really really productive and I feel like my days are kind of just coming and going without a whole lot of productivity which my husband is okay with because he's not quite ready to have this baby I was gonna sit you guys here but that's too low he's got some stuff for work to get done and he's like no I just want you to sit on the couch and just take it easy so that you don't go into labor so anyway I'm out of breath um let's see what else can I update you guys on Jacob is doing yeah Jacob's school he's got a lot to do but he does most of it independently I just have to make sure that it gets done and kind of oversee that we do do his math lessons together um so yeah his school he's basically pretty much independent so that's not like super draining but he has a lot of work a, a pretty large workload um so there's that and then um just like the basic day-to-day -day stuff so i'm gonna have some chocolate pudding real quick and then i'm gonna figure out what needs to happen first today. so i've been getting some chores done some stuff that i had on my priority list today and that feels good but i'm letting the kids um do Lincoln Logs and then we're gonna do homeschool after lunch. So Mason built this really cool Lincoln Log house. That's very cool dude. You can put like like your crying stuff like in here. I like it. Very nice. Ooh, you just caused it to collapse. That's easy to fix. Oh don't make that wall. Mom look. look um this is my look right here. You're having some snack while you sit in here with Mason? Look, if you have this piece, then this top will fall. Oh, don't move it. This is a huge chip. Is it? I figured that out. Woo! It's going to ring twice. Um, so... I need to grab this. Um, I just got a phone with my mom who said that our weather is supposed to be kind of bad this afternoon. I think well, there's going to be... Some tornado warnings what are? No. she said for our area mm -hmm. so i think i need to call my husband who is working outside and notify him just to make oh, sure that he knows it. because like, i really don't know oh. if he knows Here. been helping jake he has to memorize the second paragraph of the declaration of independence and Which is he's got a long ways to go <laughs> And he's writing a paper today. And what else is he doing? He just spelled everything. Science test. So we got a lot of work to do with him today. For sure. 
to make sure that all that gets done. And I have not even started the dishes or put the chicken noodle soup on for dinner tonight. It's okay. We all or make lunch. Mistakes sometimes. Don't worry. All that. Don't worry. People make mistakes sometimes. It's not a mistake. I just have so much to do that I don't know what to well, do we'll first. We'll do that last to do in the end. So. Um, but I think that running to the post office to mail this has to happen like before anything. Post office is five minutes down the road. I need to go do that ASAP because it is like one of the most important things that I need to get done today. And also printing off some invoices for my husband is on the priority list as well. I really wish I had a stamp. If I had a stamp, which I'm looking for, I would not need to leave the house. I don't have a stamp. So it is raining, you guys. It is pouring the rain. Again. Mason loves it when it rains, don't you, buddy? Yeah. He gets all excited. <laughs> Pour in the rain. It is coming down. Down. Isn't it? Yes. I feel like the camera never quite picks up exactly how hard it's raining. But, uh, I don't know. I texted Jimmy. I hope he's inside somewhere. He hasn't responded to me. So, anyway, I'm going to make the kids some lunch. It's 1.30, and I'm also going to make some egg bread to go with chicken noodle soup tonight. So, I thought you guys may want to see how I make the egg bread in my bread machine. And here is the ingredients. We have some milk. We have some yeast. yeast. We have some butter. We have, some, we have an egg. We have some bread flour, and I also need to grab some salt. And I'm sorry if the lighting is bad in here. My overhead light is, my fluorescent light is blown, and um, I have kind of a weird light in this light up here. I have no clue if it's um, like decent lighting or not. Probably not, because I feel like it's really dim. But I'm gonna do the best that I can <laughs> to share with you guys how to make this egg, egg bread in your bread machine. All right, so the first thing is two cups of bread flour. So we're gonna do that. Butter. Nana has a couple of Play-Doh and she has one of these um, colors oh. and um, she always lets us have them and she always mm, um, lets, us, lets me have them to put Play-Doh to cut them with like a pie. Oh cool. Alright yeah. so we're going to need a teaspoon of salt. So let's get that. And so I think that is it. And the beauty of the bread machine is, you guys, you put the ingredients in, you stick it down in your bread machine, just like this. Okay, making sure everything is the way it's supposed to be in there. 
and I uh, this one is supposed to be baked on the raisin bread setting and so I'm gonna do that hit start and in three hours and 50 minutes we will have bread so that should be right around five o'clock or so I guess Mama. what time is it two three four five maybe around six we will have fresh baked bread to have with our chicken noodle soup and it is so good and it's so easy it's just one of those things where you just plop all the ingredients in and then forget about it Mommy, I'll, so. I'll see how it goes see. yeah it's working huh Can you show me? Ow, what is going on? 